Hello everyone and welcome to the mod loader tutorial on this channel. <laughs> anyway, you guys don't want me to talk about that, this or this. And so let's start with creating a new class and the name is mod underscore and the name of your mod, in my case world intel. And now that we have this class, what we are going to do is very simple. We're going to extend this as a base mode, extends a base mode. And make sure you have all the capitals in the place or else this won't work. And now that we have this extended, we need to implement a method. And the method is called public string version. And we have to return a value from this. So return, return. And the value is the version of Minecraft 1.8.1. Save that and we are ready to go. So the method we have to implement right now is the mod on world intel or more than the name of your mod. So public mod world intel. This mod is very will be a, where we will write almost everything. So we'll go in there later. So. I have created this image of this block that I want to implement in Minecraft. So that's what we are going to do. And let's declare the variable to make the block. So write public static final block world intel or. So, oops, I forgot the K right here. So now that we have a variable of our or of our block, we have to write static, static, and we are going to give some, I don't know the name of that, interesting, anyway, you guys will see. So write world intel or or the name of your mo of your block and this is going to be equals to a new block or because it's an or of course and inside the brackets of the block or we have to declare two two integers two values so the first one is the i the id of the block it must be unique so 110 i'm guessing is free to go and the second one is, is going to be zero because we are not going to use the terrain.png now we have to write dot set hardness and let's set it to about one and a half f and set set name no set block name i guess set i'm missing all set block name here it is and this isn't the name is going to this this isn't the name that's going to display on Minecraft so you can give it a random name like world <laughs> world intel or anyway now we have a block and this block is have the come on I can't even talk this block doesn't have a skin doesn't have the doesn't have this this skin let's call it this texture is that that is the, the name I'm missing doesn't have the texture right now so we have to do it so now we go back to our my to our method right here and we have to write mod loader dot add name and we're going to give the two parameters the, the two param parameters I can't even talk oh my god the two parameters are world intel or this is referring to this block and the second parameter is the name so we're going to give it intel or I guess this will work for now. Now we have to write one more thing. So, world intel or 
dot block index in texture is going to be equals mod loader dot add override add over right and we have to give two parameters inside here the first one is the terrain so just write slash terrain dot png of course and the second one is where we will have our texture so I'm gonna have it inside the folder name world intel and the name of the file is or.png and the last thing we have to do is write world intel dot oh it's not sorry I'm sorry mod loader dot uh, where is it I need to find it R probably not no mod loader dot register block and world intel or so once you write all this code you are ready to go and you have created your first block so you can now go to your mcp folder and you have a button named recompile hit it twice and wait until it's done once is once this is done you can hit any anywhere and you will find another button another re icon named reobfuscate just do that and wait well once this is done you can now go to your reop folder and minecraft and you will have here a single file this is the file you need to give to other people or to yourself to test your mod there are another ways but I like to do it this way because I I did it this way since the beginning I start modding and now I I really like it anyway if you give this to another people that has Minecraft and mod loader installed he, he or she can install it and can play your mod so I'm going to copy this this file oops sorry no, this file to my minecraft folder to my minecraft.jar I have a mod loader installed as well and I need to put inside here my world intel folder with the or.png and now you can close everything and you can run your minecraft choose like a new world I just created this one and I just installed single player comments so you can see where I'm trying to get so I'm going to spawn some oops sorry not that some items so give or I 110 and BAM here are my blocks I'm sorry about the lag I uh, so these are oops, sorry, the blocks we just created and if we go to here we can see that it, it, the name is Intel or and if I give myself a pickaxe let's get let's see iron pick X you can mine it pretty easy with the iron pickaxe well now you and you see this is fairly cool so let's close minecraft is not needed anymore well now that you have all this I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to set up Java uh, how to set up MCP with Eclipse let's see 10 likes on the video and I will do it so guys I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you guys have learned and now you can make your own blocks in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make your own items and make these or drop your item
just like let's say redstone or diamond so yeah guys until the next mod loader tutorial peace out